could be the most important person on the earth. And you still won't need anything at all. What and if you feel like I something? Then that's good. If you feel like you mean something, that's good. That gives you some purpose. But I don't feel like I mean anything. I don't feel like anybody means anything. Yeah. You might mean something to me. Like, you do mean something to me. You mean a lot to me. And there's... You mean a lot to other people. And that's cool. But I'm talking about, like, in the fucking... This universe might not even be the only universe. I have no it's doubt like the Milky Way it's galaxy. Like, I just... We are... We're not even... Like, ants moving along in the Earth. We're not even that size in the universe. That's like... We're so fucking tiny. Yeah. And then you imagine just your one person, just you as one person on one planet, in one solar system, in one galaxy, in one universe, like, you don't mean anything. <laughs> you really don't. So to what say, like, that, that kind of, that makes sense to me, and like, to say that there's only physical, there's only physical things in the world is also, like, crazy to me. That is crazy. Because I think there's other levels. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know about our own universe, and there's a lot out there. How can there not be anything else out there? But how can there not be... How can there not be something outside of our reality that we know? There probably is. Almost certainly is. There's the aliens and there's probably other dimensions things. and yeah, yeah dimensions. Like a bunch I mean, of other shit. For all we know, there could be a world that exists that is totally. But that just one makes dimension. us even more meaningless. If it's even crazier than what we know, that makes us even more meaningless. That means we even matter even less. Like we are even more insignificant. And that's fucking crazy. Like, but it's awesome once you. Because I've come to terms with that. I really have. I've come to terms with knowing I have one life, and then at that point you just. Like you, have one one, life uh, you, you, have, you have one life that, that you're for sure that you have, right? And logically, probably you only have one life. Logically. I mean, probably, probably you only have there's one life. There's been evidence that there's that one life, I would disagree. I don't think there's any. There's certainly no evidence for it. But anyway, just, there is let, let, me, let me figure it out. Let me, let me go through my thought process here. All I know is you have one life. And you don't know there's an afterlife don't know that anything happens. All you know for sure is that you live right now, right? To me, logically, there's probably nothing that happens after you die. To me, also logically, we don't mean anything. And, and that's really scary to a lot of people. It, it's really scary. It, it freaks them out. To me, it gives me an open door to live my life the way I want to live it. Like, any time that I fucked up something horribly. I fucked up so much shit. Relationships, like it's all the time. Like, <laughs> all the time. That. Personal relationships, just fucking, they go down the drain, and it's just terrible. And I just have to remind myself, well, none of this really matters. And then to me, it's like a liberating thing to where you can actually take some risks, and do some things, because if nothing really fucking matters, then all that matters is trying to do what you can do to get the most out of your life that you can. I used to make that argument, like, I don't know, when was that, like, three years ago, mm -hmm. my friends would be like, what, like, if you're an atheist, then how, how can life be meaningful to you? And I used to I'm say, not an atheist. okay, well, I'm just saying, like, people okay. used to ask me that, okay. and I would be like, well, Life can still be meaningful, even if when you die, you just, everything, you just die. Your brain doesn't exist anymore. And life can still be meaningful because you can still live every day and try to be the best person that you can and make an impact while you're alive. It's meaningful to you. And people it's around you too. It's not if you change like people's lives. And that's great, it's all good and great, but it's not gonna matter to fucking like Pluto or Neptune or anything. Anything in the big 
How do you know that our actions don't affect the whole universe? They might. I mean, they might if you say like it affected some person who maybe down the road affected some scientist that got the human species off of the earth into a different planet well, what about before. quantum physics like we're all if you split up probably all connected yes yeah that, that but it makes even sense at that, that point you even at that point what's the point what's the, what's the fucking point the grand for if we're all connected, even if everybody's connected to the same central piece of the Big Bang that maybe happened, maybe didn't, I'm still not completely sold on the Big Bang. But basically, the Big... Something had to have come from nothing, and now we're all here, and probably... I, I, would, I wouldn't say I completely agree, but I think it'd be a decent explanation. Maybe we all have these certain things that make us up atoms and shit and maybe those are all connected to other atoms throughout the universe but even at that point what does it mean and what does it matter like what what's the fucking point I guess you could argue like in the grand scheme of things there really is no point which allows you to live your life exactly how you want to exactly who you are and there's no right and wrong 